Hi, I'm Joni Gregans. Welcome to my one-on-one -on -one workout. That's right, it's just you and me, because together we're going to change your body. How? Well, first of all, you've got to have commitment, and you've got to follow through with that commitment. Now, let's face it, commitments are a lot easier if you have motivation. Well, I've got an excellent program for you. I'm your coach. Hopefully, that'll motivate you. But let's say you need an extra edge. Well, I've utilized different environments all through the video to give you that added incentive. During the warm-up, we'll be in a beautiful garden setting because it's important that you start your warm-up off in a nice, relaxed environment. Now, the warm-up prepares the body for the more rigorous demands of the aerobics and calisthenics by raising the internal body temperature. Speaking of aerobics, aerobics are the foundation of any exercise program. And the first building block is the heart because the heart is the most important muscle in your body. So, we'll be doing our aerobics in an environment that reminds you of that. That's right, you're gonna like it. Now, during the aerobics, I'll be using one pound handheld weights to increase the efficiency of the workout. And towards the end of the aerobics, a 10 second clock will appear so that you can count your beats per minute. Now, you take this number, you multiply it by six to get your heart rate. You should be in your target zone. Now, if you're not sure where your target zone is, check the enclosed insert. It'll tell you how to calculate it. Now, let's find you that you see that you're above the target zone. Well, just bring it down a little bit. But if you're below the target zone, pick up your pace. Now, when we do our weight work, we will be back inside. No distractions. I want you to concentrate. I want you to really learn the techniques. Now, the amount of poundage you use depends on, number one, your physical condition, and number two, what your goals are for your body. We'll be using ankle weights, one-pound handheld weights, weights that go from three all the way up to 15 pounds. Now, we'll be using lighter weights and doing more reps because we want to concentrate not only on strength, but muscle endurance as well because it's the combination of these two things that gives you muscle tone and definition. Lighter weights, more reps. We're not building muscle mass, but let's say you want muscle mass. Well, if you do, then you have to, number one, use heavier weights, two, do less reps, and three, take a longer time to recover between sets. Now, we talked about technique. Technique is really important. If you find yourself straining to pick up weights or swinging the weights to complete a movement, then the weight's too heavy for you. So you want to use weights that are a little bit less in poundage. Now, this is a workout you're never going to outgrow. You are going to get fitter, the workout will get easier, and that's because the body adapts to the stress load. So all you do is increase the intensity by using heavier weights. Now, women, I recommend you start off with one pound and go all the way up to 10 pounds, or more if you want. Men, start at three, go up to as high as 20 or more. The main thing is to listen to your body and train, don't strain. Now, you may want to to set your video counter right here. So in the future, you can just begin your workout. And speaking of workouts, I'm ready to exercise. Let's go. OK, we want to begin with good body alignment. Knees are bent. Look at your toes. You know, sort of put them in a comfortable position. Pull in the abdominals. Tuck the gluteals. Head is straight. Remember, when you have good posture, you look much thinner. Bring the hands up. Press them down. Again, take a deep breath. Hands on the thighs as the head comes forward and back. Now, when you look forward, just bring the head up. Don't throw it back. And to the right and center and left. Line it up with your shoulder. OK, speaking of shoulders, let's lift them up. Shoulder to ear. This looks easy, I know. Sometimes you just can't get it up there. Do the best you can. Now, circle it back. It's OK. Sometimes when you start this stuff, you go, gee, my shoulder doesn't do that. Take your time. Pretend you have lots of hair. Smooth it back. Warming up to the deltoid. Now make a fist. And a fist. Make that muscle. We're warming up the arms. Now squeeze. Chest and upper back. Squeeze. Somebody very large here. And hold it. And again. Four times with the arms. Now squeeze. Ugh. As you squeeze and contract. Last time, hands on the thighs. Two times. And two. And singles. Again, two. 
and two. Now singles. Now vacuum up those abdominals. Up, extend, a lift, and lift. Roll up, take your time. Work on the upper torso. Really reaching side to side. Now you're gonna hold the stretch. And to the other side. And waist twist. Now notice when I twist here, I don't twist too far back. I want to torque the lower back. Now you want to reach right and left. Yes, folks. You too can do those great dance steps. Now we're going to bring both arms, same thing, and reach. Really bend those legs. Now four. It's one, two, and four. Working our way down, lower extremities, the legs. And lunge. Now reach across like there's something that you want. And again, lunge. Now stay there. In and up. Plie again. Bring it down. Now hand, hand. Comes down. Or when you can, pull it up. And reach it up. Make sure that your knee is right over that foot. Now watch what happens. Bring it in. And in. Not easy, I know. This is the hard one though for me. Now watch what happens. Toe comes up to warm up the front of the leg. Little toe tapping. Now when you can, bring the feet together. Up, up. Fingers lace. In position. We're gonna work the calf. Watch it. One. And two. And three. And four. Now bring the hands forward and go back and back. Just work that front leg. Now bring yourself around. Hands together as you bring it down and lift. Down again. Bring those hands together. Give yourself a chance on the knee. Down and down. Now you're going to lift and lift. Make sure that knee isn't over the toe too far. Now bring in that foot, rolling the ankle. Ooh, we know it's coming up. We want to hold it for a minute. Oh, release. Toe touches. Up, two. Working the front of the leg. Now bring that other leg to it. Hand, hand. When you can, back with the right foot and bring that foot in. Bring it in and reach. Two. Really bring it in. And four, hands forward as you come forward and back. We're working that front leg. And turn around, bring it down, lift, adductors. Lots of stuff to warm up on the human body, I know. Now lunge it out. Reach across. Hands on the thighs as you right and left. Hands out and left, down. Lift, and down. Now hands out. We're gonna get ready to do aerobics. Now if you're new, you don't worry about weights, but I'm gonna go right now and get my one pounders. Okay, now I've got my one pound hand weights, but if you don't have weights, that's okay, because this is not an easy workout. We're not gonna be doing a lot of silly movements, but a lot of athletic movements, and we're gonna be using the upper body a lot, so you're gonna get a real good aerobic workout. Now, you want to have some aerobic shoes because when you're doing aerobic movement, you do a lot of up and down, you do a lot of side to side, and aerobic shoes are made for that, especially the lateral movement. So your equipment in this, besides clothing that you can move in and clothing that breathes, is also the right kinds of shoes. And when you're doing aerobics, whether you decide to keep low impact, this is low impact right now. Notice one foot's always in contact with the ground. Now, even if I'm to do high level, low level, whatever, you still want to land so that you're never on the toes. Because if I stay up on my toes, what happens is that I put a lot of stress on my shins. And one of the causes of shin splints is staying up on the toes and pitching the body forward. Also, you want to be sure that you're holding in the abdominals. Good posture, good body alignment is important in aerobics. As soon as you start hunching over, hey, take a breath. It's too hard. Now, if you don't have weights, don't worry about it. You just make a fist. In other words, this kind of a movement some tension in the hand, okay, so that, and we never use long levers with the weights, right? Because if I'm to do this with the weight, what would happen is, again, it's too stressful to my arm. 
No, no uh, wrist weights for this either, just hand weights. Okay, now we're not gonna worry about the arms yet. Side to side, here we go. So it's one foot next to the other, getting that body warmed up. Here we go. Side to side. Now bring it forward and bring it back. I mean, we don't want to add the arms too soon. You know, there's nothing worse than trying to add arms when you haven't even got the feet down. You mean I have to do it all and chew gum. Keep going. And breathe. Again, forward. A little saxophone comes in here to lead you on. And inside. All right. We've got this step, Jordan. We've got it. Okay, here we go. Notice a little transition there to heels. And if the arms is too much, you just do heel cross. As you pull it down. Bring it front. Take your time. Work in the upper body as well. And up. Heel crosses, low impact. And breathe. Now if you're new at aerobics, don't worry. Hey, you last three minutes? That's okay. Walk around, get familiar with the moves, and after you can do everything, then it's time to get the weights. Punch it out, and out. Now bring it in again. Bring those arms up. Live pump. All right, take it up. And back, pull it back. And back. For four, up, two, and back. And bring it up. Last time back. Now stand there. Start bringing those. Knees up. Still in contact with the ground, thank goodness. Turn right. Knees come up where it's comfortable. And front. Left. Front. Now the leg comes out a little hard, and what you're trying to do is bring the elbow to the knee. Side. Again, elbow stay bent. And front. And do your best. Forward. Transition. All right, we're gonna start bringing it to a jog. Little jog leg, here we go. Arms come up. And right. Remember, don't stay up on those toes. And lift. And now, the calories are burning, that means you are burning fat. That's right, finally. Again, remember aerobic activity is the stuff that helps you get rid of body fat. Press it down. Small kicks. We're not getting too active here yet. Side. Like there's something out there, kick out. And forward. Way you change your body. Burning calories, getting rid of body fat through aerobics. Shaping those muscles, contouring with the use of weights. And that's what we're gonna do here. Keep going. Now the hand weights make the aerobic work a lot more intense. I'm sure you'll agree if you've got your hand weights with you. But again, it depends on your level. This is very intense. If you haven't been doing a lot of aerobics, keep going. Now four times. 
Now reach for four. Take it side. Yeah. Again. Side. And four. Side. Now jumping jack, eight. Arms pump out. Knees bent. Again. Now arms up with this jumping jack. Now put it together, kick eight. Side kicks eight, come on. Jumping jack in place for eight. Now jump back, eight, push, two, come on. Are we ready for four? Of course we are, keep going. Side. Jack. Again. This is our pattern, that's right. Referred to as the pattern. Bring it back. Double jumping jacks. One, two. Again. Now, are you ready for a challenge? Of course. Sing doubles and then singles. It's doubles, singles. Doubles, singles. Say, got it. Again. Again. The pattern. Immediately. They respond. They know what she means. Jumping jack. And bring it back. The pattern again. Come on, you are doing a great job. I feel it. And up. Up. Downtown walk in twos. Heels come down. Now with singles. One, two, and singles. Singles. Come on. Working those biceps as well. Yes, two treats in one. Keep going. There goes last night's dinner. Keep going. Again. The pattern. And out. Jumping jack. And back. Again. Kick side, like you mean it. Reach out. Now bring your leg down for two. And two. Singles. Doubles. Singles. And again. Singles. It's time for the pattern. Kick out to the side. And out. Push it up. The pattern. And out. Back. Now twist, but don't fling the body around. You don't want to torque the body or swing the back around too much. Twist it, but keep it forward. How's that? Again. Now mix it up. Double, single. If your legs are further apart like this, it prevents you from twisting too far around. Clever. Now we're going to move it. I know you can do it. Move it. Ooh, 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 ooh. See when you, all right, come on now, motivation. A little saxophone right there, keep going, ah. Uh. Inside. Last time, 
the pattern. In place. And up. Again. Remember when you're familiar with moves and you get good at them, this is when you can really go for it and make some changes. So hang in there. Downtown. Singles. Again. Jumping jack, pattern. Like a review, right. Come on, you're almost there. Again. Now let's throw in the twist, ooh. And we'll move it too, you know, a little challenging. And if you can't move it, you don't do it, you just stay where you are. Again. Bring it up for two. And two. Singles. Come on, bring it up. Go for it. Again. The pattern. Here we go. Kick side. And walk it out. Heels, heels, heels. Now we're still going for it, but we're just bringing it down a little bit. And you have weights, really make a fist and press towards you. Now what aerobics does for you, besides burning calories, translating burning fat, is it builds up your endurance. Because you see, your heart becomes more efficient. The only exercise that your heart gets is aerobic activity. That's its weight training, so to speak. The stronger your heart, the more energy you have. And we love energy. So you do this tape all the time. Okay, now, if you have weights, put them down, but don't go all the way down. I don't want your head lower than your heart yet. Want to keep the circulation going. What we're going to do is take a heart rate count. So you want to take it at the radial pulse, take your thumb to the outside. See so where the thumb on the other hand is? At the wrist bone. We're going to take a 10 second count so that we can see if we fell into our target range. When you count, start with zero. Here we go. Ready, begin. Now watch your screen. It will time for you. All right, now ready, release it a little bit. Now after you get better at aerobics and you know the tape better, what you can do is you can just continue, take your heart rate, keep it up a little higher, longer. And as I explain the weight section, then you can bring it down. But keep moving, we don't want the blood to pull. We want to be nice and strong and have lots of energy, and I know you feel fabulous. And again, if you didn't get your heart rate, hey, you'll get it next time, so don't worry. But right now, what we're all gonna do is if we, especially if we have weights, is to go get those weights. Otherwise, you keep moving, because we'll be right back in a second with our weights. Okay, we're energetic, ready for our weight work. Now, when you pick up your weights, be sure you bend your knees so that you use your legs to help you. We're going to start off with some squats. Works the quadriceps, the gluteals, and the hamstrings. Okay, your feet, shoulder width apart. You come down at a 45 degree angle and then squeeze at the top. You're not going to hyperextend your knees. You're going to be sure that the center of gravity is over the arch of the foot and squeeze. Come on, you can do it. Two more. All right, we're going to change the arm position. Elbows extended from the shoulders. Center of gravity is a little higher. This makes the exercise more difficult. It's too difficult, you just stick with the first position. Two more. And now for those of you who like a real challenge, arms straight out. No stress to the elbows because we're in a neutral position. This is great too if you like to ski. Strengthens the upper body. This is the most difficult position. Okay, now bring the feet closer together. This works the quads more, same thing. Quarter time. So we're not coming all the way up or all the way down. Change the arms, elbows up. Ah, you can do it, keep going. Straight out. Keep going. Last time. Again, feet shoulder width apart. Four times, squat. 
and you thought you could never shape up those gluteals, ha, here we go. And change the arms. And if you can, straight out, down. Last time. Now we're gonna do a forward lunge. All right, we're gonna step out, and we're gonna make sure the back leg is bent, this knee is not over the toe, and push back. So you use those gluteals. You wanna use those guys. Okay, and again. And back. And again, come on. And step. Four times with the left. Bring it out, and in. Stepping out. Last time. Now alternate right and left. You go right and back. Left. Watch the push back. Change the arms. Make sure those elbows stay up there. Same thing. And back. And again. And step out. Four with the left. Now, if you find you've only done two, we've done four, that's okay. Do what you can. Alternate. Push back. Push back. Last time. Oh, let's give it a try. Arms straight out. Two times. To the right. Here we go. Bring it down. And down. Left leg. Alternate for two. This is one. And two. Okay, now, outer thigh. I'm gonna step out to the side. Make sure that your heel lines up with the toe. Pull into the abdominals and bring it back. And back. Left side, same thing. Are you lined up here? And back. And alternate. No more thigh bulge. The weight's too heavy? Either put it down or change the weight. Elbows up, same thing. Two times. And to the left, pull into the abdominals. Alternate. Arm is straight out. Two. Left. Out. Two more. Alternate. One. And two. You did it. Again, bend the leg. Put the weight down. Shake out. We're going to go to the floor for some floor work. Okay, now we're gonna work the lower body. Also throw in some push-ups. Starting by putting on our ankle weights, about a pound and a half to two and a half pounds. Put these guys on. All right, you can do a straight leg or bent leg push-up. Main thing is that you wanna make sure that the elbows are over the wrists and that your body's in a straight line. Spine, cervical, vertebra, and the hip. Lowering that chest down the best you can. Two more. Okay, now rolling over. Start with the left leg, and we'll raise and lower. Main thing is that you want to line up your hip, your knee, and your ankle so that they're all in a straight line. Think forward with your weight. And again, eight more. Lift, foot is flexed. Feeling for the outer thigh. And you see, if I roll like this, I work the quadriceps. Don't want to do that. Lift. Two more. Last time, inner thigh. Bring that top leg over and raise and lower. Now you notice you're working your right leg here. Adductor, bring it up. Again, foot is flexed. Eight more. Don't roll back. Uh, inner thigh, come on, you can do it. Last time. Now we're gonna go back to the left leg. Hip bones are down as you lift and lift. Lift. Up. 
Go to the hamstring area. Now leave the leg up, but curl it in and out. Slow it down so you feel the squeeze. Right back here in the hamstring area. And again, squeeze. Two more. This is one and two. Release. And back to push-ups. Yay, down. Are your elbows over your wrist? Find the line. Lower down. Last two. And we're going to do the opposite leg now because we don't want to be uneven. So, re raise Lift. Make sure that the foot is flat. And eight more. Do what you can. Inner thigh. Again, this foot is flat. Lengthen your body as you lift. By being in this position, what you do is you protect the spine. So again, but think forward. You don't want to roll back. Last two. One and two. All right, this time again, rolling over. And we are going to take the right leg as we lift and lift. Now, don't throw that leg up. You don't want to arch your back too much. Curl it in and out. It's squeeze. Squeeze. Three more. This is squeeze one, two, last time. It must be push-up time. You're right. Again, release back from it, and then push it up. And take it down. Keep going. And again. Last two. This is one, and two. And release it. And now it's going to be time to work our abdominals. This is a time to pick out a weight that you're comfortable with. And we're going to start by working the upper rectus abdominis as we come up and down. Up. Make sure that the lower back is pressed down. Exhale up. Now bring it to double time. Here we go. And lift. Okay, Pep, I got an exercise for you. We're gonna work the obliques. Same position, but when you come up, really twist. And then really twist. So instead of thinking about going past your knees, you're really twisting to the right. And it's this twist that really helps bring in that waistline. Two more. It's one and two. Other side. Twist. Make sure you come back to center. Two more. This is one. Now, comfortable. That's right. Comfortable as you can be on those elbows. Bring those knees to the chest and down. Stabilize the pelvis when you do this. Pulling into the abdominals. Don't arch that back and do the best you can. A lot of times if you're worried about the old pot belly, Eight more. This is the one that really works that. You're going to have some hip flexor action, but this really works the lower abs. Bring it in the best you can. Last two. This is one and two. Now take your time. Roll up because we're also going to work the back. Remember, the back and the abdominals work together like you're rowing. You come forward and pull back. And what's happening here is you're working the rhomboids. You want to be sure, number one, that you keep your elbows close to the body and that you pinch those shoulder blades together. And again. Eight more. Rowing without water. Keep going. Pinch your shoulder blades. Three more. This is one. Last time, weights come down for a minute. Take your time, come back down, back to the first abdominal exercise. It's 
Lift and down. Lower back, press down, heels on the floor. And up. Two more. Now up to tempo, here we go. Take it one. Last time, bring it down. It must be time for our favorite. And let's twist it up. And we twist. Twist. And breathe. Like here, take these weights. Last time. Other side. Twist. Four more. Last time. Okay, again, comfortable on your elbows as you bring the knees in and down. Stabilize the pelvis. Try and keep the lower back on the ground. Get comfortable and squeeze. Make that little extra squeeze when you come up there. Now, if you've had a lot to eat, we're aware that it's a little harder to squeeze. But do the best you can. Last two. This is one and two. Take your time when it's comfortable. Roll up. Working the rhomboids. Here we go. Elbows close. Squeeze. Pinch those shoulder blades. Remember that the abdominals and the back work together. A lot of times people that have bad backs have weak abdominals. You want to strengthen both areas. Elbows close. Pull it back. Last two. This is one. Two. Yay! Now we take off the ankle weights. You were waiting for that. Down to Velcro, here we go. And let's do a little bit of a stretch. Move these things out of your way. What you wanna do is take your time, come down, bring your knees to about 90 degrees. The important thing is the shoulders are down on the ground, head can be straight up, and just release the spine. And now to stretch the same way. Okay, take your time, you're gonna roll up. Now we're going to get ready to work the upper body. We're going to start with calf raises. We're going to be doing eight calf raises. Now we're going to come up on the toe. Now watch what happens when we come down. We go one, two, three, four. You can even go as many as five. So when the muscles in this long state, the eccentric motion, we take time with this motion. We found that this strengthens calves much better than the old-fashioned, you know, movement when you go up with the calf. So we're emphasizing down. Here we go with A. Take it up, now down. Again, way up. Now watch, down. Take your time getting down. You can also put a two by four underneath your toes so that you have to come down even at more of an angle. Also, later on, once you get your balance and you feel comfortable, you can also hold three, five pound weights, whatever is comfortable for you. Way up. See the difference now? Bring it down. Down. And lift. So you're strengthening the calf. Also strengthen it against injury. And again, lift. Now bring it down. Take your time. This is the last time. Number eight. And down. Down. All right. Good job. Now what we're going to do is to get some weight that's comfortable. Remember, bend your knees. Pick up the weight. We're going to work on the bicep muscles first. Now what you want to do is to hold the weights, palms up, along the sides of the body. Bend the knees. Knees are flexed. Abdominals are in. And you lift it up. And as you lift it up, what happens is that you are keeping it along the sides of the body and you're pinching the shoulder blades. Sports physiologists have said that the Regular bicep curls you're used to have a tendency to injure the tendon. Also, the lift works the bicep muscle completely. All right, lateral side raises. 
for the deltoids. Bringing it in and way up. Bringing it shoulder height. Keep those knees bent, abdominals in. Don't want to throw them, you want to lift them. Please don't throw them. All right, tricep extension. Elbows back, press them out. And out, try and stabilize the elbows so that they really are extending. You're extending those arms, working the tricep. Last time, the lift, alternate. You lift it right and left. And even though I'm just lifting one side, still keeping the weight close to the body, elbow close to the body, and feeling the pinch. Last time, lateral side raise. And out. Now you might discover that when you're doing these exercises, with one arm, all of a sudden it feels heavier. You might want to lighten your weight. Last one. Tricep extensions. Alternate. So it's right. Extend it out. Two more. This is one. And two. The lift for four. We're going to lift. And again. Lift. Keep those knees flexed. Lateral to the side. Here we go. And up. Two more. Tricep extensions. Bring them out. Don't let those weights swing past your waist. Keep going. Last time. Now we're going to work on the pectorals. That's right, and the deltoids. Palms open. Now bend the knees. Now watch what happens. I bring the weight up like I'm hugging myself. We like that. Don't break the wrist. This works an area that we don't work a lot. That's the lower pecs. That's right, we work the upper chest a lot, but not a lot of times. But there's not a lot of exercises. Other arm. With the lower pectorals. Again, like you're hugging yourself. Okay, now we're going to do the press. Now watch what happens. We bring it out. Squeeze. Now this is working the pectorals, upper pecs. Squeeze. Again. Remember pulling in the abdominals. Two more. This is one and two. Now watch this exercise. A new one. Shoulders are up. Elbows extend from the shoulders. You bend the knees, which are about shoulder width apart, and as you come up, you press up, and then you bring them down. Press up, and there's a squeeze that again. And press, pinching against through the shoulder blades. Push it up, push press, way up, press up, last time, okay, now we're going to do, again, our chest series for the lower pecs, four times. Feel the squeeze, too. When I'm doing this, I'm really squeezing. Other side. Squeeze and get that elbow high. Last time, four presses. Pull back, squeeze in. Really squeeze, like you're trying to squeeze together. Last time. All right, now push. Again, up. Bend the knees. Way up. Pinch. And 
Last time. Good work. Again, bending the knees. Okay, let's do a couple of stretches. First of all, bend the knees, hands behind the head, and pull back those arms. And you should feel it right here in the, in the chest, stretching it out. And again. Now this time, take the hands, lace the fingers, again, pulling back, stretching out. If this is too difficult with the fingers laced, just pull back with the arms. Stretch out the arms, pulling the elbow towards the opposite shoulder, working the tricep. And same thing, other side. Now shake out, and remember, the commitment to change your body has to be made by you. But once you make that commitment, I'm here to help you achieve that goal, because you can change your body. See you next time.